My name's Maria Miller. I'm a junior at Scott Catholic. And this poem is titled, Cinnamon. Whenever he needed me, he would drive over to my house and wait outside. No matter how many feet of snow stationed themselves on my winding drive, or how the cold wind made his nose just as red as his frayed eyes were, every time I'd make hot chocolate sprinkled carefully with cinnamon, he would gaze up at the stars, and with his mismatched voice and thesaurus mouth, he'd tell me about astronomy, the stars proved to him that he was an insignificant figure lost in an endless black sky of numbered planets and abuse. He'd talk about life like an unavoidable horoscope, death written in his stars. If only I had read them instead of scanning his body for new bruises painted on his skin like constellations or black holes ripped raggedly into his wrist that we didn't talk about. The night he came crying because his dad had made it very clear that his daughter was not going to cut her hair like some dyke. I added extra cinnamon to his hot chocolate and told him that sometimes men have long hair too and maybe that was okay. Too long blonde hair sticking to his hardened face, he locked his dew-covered eyes with mine, leaned in, and in his ill-fitting voice told me that he loved me. I asked him to leave. He looked at me the way he always did, took the kind of breath that ties a knot in the divot where your neck meets your collarbones, gathering his last words, for they tumbled out of his trembling lips. If that's what you want, I'm sorry. The day a letter arrived in the mail with nothing but for Maria written on the front in careful black ink, I didn't open it, I made hot chocolate. I filled his navy cup to the brim, but when my hand shook just a little too much, I the pieces of the ceramic puddled at the tile at my feet. I was told there would be no funeral, and I never read that note. I poured its ashes into a small glass bottle, carefully sprinkled cinnamon over the still smoking gray remains that may as well have been his. That aging bottle still sits on my desk. It smells like spice, like death like all I have left of him, like regret, like his blood staining my feeble hands, like his I love you, I wish I could have honestly returned, like every no I forced into a sure because I was worried they would be the next bottle decorating my desk, like unread words I have tried so desperately to rewrite for him, like a thousand dead friend bones and angsty obituaries, it smells like cinnamon. In a constellation lost to the numbers, and no amount of stargazing will ever bring back.